and I'm here with Harry Turtle Dove, uh, writer of a lot of alternative history books. Uh, Harry, how are you doing today? I'm very good, thank you, JC. How, um, how did you get into writing? Oh, I've always wanted to write. Um, I, I was a science major by original intention, flunked out of Caltech, ended up with a doctorate in Byzantine history from UCLA. You want fries with that? <laughs> you laugh. Yeah, I, yeah. My, my, my then prospective father-in-law laughed too. My, my prospective son-in-law, the bum, uh, got a job as a tech writer, um, started selling in the 70s, so started selling regularly in the 80s. I've been full-time freelance since 91. Well, that's, that's great. That's great. Um, now, can you t talk a little bit about your books? Well, I think probably my best known book is Guns of the South. If you've seen the book cover, you will see Robert E. Lee holding an AK-47, <laughs> which was given to him by time-traveling South Africans who wanted a racist Confederate states to go with their own. And what happened then is, is some of the story I've done. The World War books, which postulate an alien invasion at the end of May 1942, when World War II was about as even as it could possibly be. <laughs> I've done Ruled Britannia, which is an alternate history in which Shakespeare joins the English conspiracy against the Spaniards after the Armada succeeded. I've done a Hugo-winning novella called Down in the Bottomlands, which postulates that the Mediterranean Sea never refilled after it dried up five million years ago, and when, it, when now comes around, it's a very hot, dry desert, and some of the things that might spring from that. I've done a series of books that go from the 1880s all the way up through the end of World War II, imagining what would have happened if the United States and Confederate States had ended up on opposite sides of the European alliance system, so that when World War I rolled around, it rolled around on both sides of the Atlantic, uh, followed by a second round a generation later I've done you know I have an, I you know I'm a I'm a historian who writes science fiction so what am I going to write but alternate history you know, that's I, true uh, now have you uh, it would seem to me that that history just just by nature there's just so many things going on today much less you know 100 200 years ago um, do you find that that gives you a lot of things to create with Oh, sure. My latest book is called The Man with the Iron Heart. It's just out from Del Rey, and it imagines what might have happened if there had been a serious German resistance movement after VE Day in 1945. Any resemblances to the present mess in Iraq are strictly not coincidental. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting political in my old age. What can I tell you? Hey, no arguments here. Um, do you, now, do you, 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 do you have any other future up, upcoming projects? Or? Well, I also do straight historical fiction. I have a straight historical novel coming out next, I think it's next February. It's called Get Me Back My Legion. It's about the Battle of Teutoburg Wald, the battle that made sure that Germany would not become a province of the Roman Empire, and it's just in time for the 2000th anniversary of the battle. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds fantastic. Now, is there a website that uh, our viewers can go to so they can get uh, more, learn more about your books? Uh, Google, Google my name on you know, and, and go to and go to the link that that, that will come up. It's it's a run, it's a website run by a fan. I don't run my own because there are not enough hours in the day. I just write too damn much. Hey, fair enough, fair enough. And of course, we'll, we'll I'll actually Google that for my viewers and put it up there for you. Well, thank you. All right, uh, Harry, it was great talking with you. Thank you very I, much. I hope you enjoy the rest of the convention. You too. Bye. All right, I'm here now with Phil Folio of Xenophile fame and, of course, of Girl Genius fame, uh, along with his wife, Kaja. Um, Phil, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well, thank you. Uh, yourself? I'm pretty good. How have you been enjoying the convention so far? Oh, it's been very nice. World Science Fiction Convention is always a fine convention, you know, uh, uh, a little more intellectual than Comic-Con. <laughs> this is true um, so what got you into drawing and comics and, and everything well gosh I always uh, enjoyed uh, storytelling and I was never uh, I didn't have the patience for prose so you know one picture is worth a thousand words kind of thing and uh, you know it was easier <laughs> now Girl Genius I, I'm seeing a lot of different magazines for Girl Genius and they're looking pretty thick that it seems to be pretty popular. It's uh... well, we've been doing it since around 2000, 2001, 
Uh, we put it up online as a free web comic, and whenever we get enough uh, pages, we put out a book. And so far, we've got seven books. Well, they look fantastic. Um, are you going to be doing any more conventions in the Northwest area? Oh, well, sure. Uh, we're going to be doing KomoriCon in about uh, two weeks hey. down in Portland, Oregon. Yeah. Um, we always Sorry, do SakuraCon in uh, Seattle as well as uh, Emerald City Comic Con. There's North NorwestCon, which is a fine science fiction convention. Um, that's, I think, everything we're committed to in the Northwest at this time. Okay, and do you have a website for our viewers to, if they, in case they want to learn more about you? Absolutely, it is studiofolio.com. Folio is spelled F-O-G-L-I-O. Or you could just go to girlgenius.net. <laughs> okay, well, we'll have both li uh, links on our website. Phil, it was great meeting you and talking to you. Thank Thanks you a lot. Much. I scream and shout so you can hear I tell you that the end is near I still can't stand, I still can't think You win me with my favorite drink Give me that glass, oh I feel as a nine And if I can't grump I'll drink plum wine